Okay, here on Moonlight, I'm gonna show you the house. Interesting house with a lot of potential and a few question marks of concern as well. So let me give you a look around out in the front. This is the house. You can see the RV parking on the side, really valuable in Bend. Everybody has a van or a boat or a trailer. Um, driving down the road, really nice little area, nice street, nice homes. Here's the neighbor's place, really clean. This house definitely uh, needing some love, but it's not terrible, but it's also got some unique features that I rarely see. I'll show you some more. Yeah, the fence here, you know, it needs some love. You know, you could tear it out or you could just, you know, do a little bit of work and paint it. I don't know. There aren't, aren't no, you know, many fences like this in the area, so it's kind of stands out. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's terrible. Tree could be trimmed up a little bit here. Definitely clean this up. It's a beautiful, healthy tree. Um, brings a lot of shade and character to the house. Pretty nice. You got this as a natural outcropping, which provides some privacy here right next door, right? Kind of cool. So obviously the root here from the tree is tearing up the sidewalk here. Unfortunate. And the roots are pretty pronounce here in the yard be nice to not have to deal with those roots but you know like you'd have to do a zero scape in the front yard you couldn't do lawn here okay let's get inside i'll come back we can talk about more of this on the outside it does have a new roof looks like it's been recently painted but some of the details on the painting like this needs to be painted like it's not finished you know it's kind of a just a loose end um so this needs to be painted most of the of the uh, exterior walls are freshly painted. You have, looks like newer vinyl windows, definitely not original to the house. They've got this uh, older air conditioning unit built into the wall. That's garbage, it needs to go away. You do have forced air heating. And I've been under the house and you just need to add an air conditioning unit here and use the built-in forced air system for your air conditioning and get rid of that swamp cooler. That's ridiculous. So you have bedrooms down here, kitchens right in the front door. It looks like this used to be, this wall probably came over to right here. And this was a doorway right here. So they just opened it up, just removed that wall. So the kitchen is in the entryway. <laughs> and I would say the kitchen is not as nice as the, the listing photos. You know, you don't see some of this detail. Although structurally, really actually not bad at all. I think just you need a little bit of paint here. This is a Formica countertop. It's got a nice edge on it. Pretty, pretty bulletproof for a rental. Like these, these cabinets are actually really clean, but they definitely need, they need, um, you know, they need some uh, touch up here. And it's not a big kitchen, so it's not a lot of cabinets. These are definitely not original to the house. Yeah, these, these are newer. You've got natural gas stove. Um, okay, Lazy Susan or whatever you call those. Yeah, okay, so my initial impression when I came into the kitchen was, oh, it's not as good as the photos, but actually it's just cosmetic. It's just a little bit more paint is what is needed. Okay, door, be looking at the doors. This is a nice solid fireproof door. So four bedrooms in this house, the original three bedrooms were this way. Somebody added a fourth bedroom here. And a bathroom. There's all kinds of people pulling up outside trying to get in here to see the house. So we got a full bathroom here. That, so this is shared bathroom because this is like the 
the bathroom here. Um, we've got this little bedroom closet, and this goes out to the yard, big yard, tons of room. You could put another ADU back here, tons of room for an ADU. That, that's something that we should talk about. Yeah, I got people waiting. Hold on, let me yell at them. Okay. It's like, back off, people. Okay. This is the bowling alley. <laughs> the bowling alley all the way. Okay. Hey, look at the, you know, nice tall baseboard. And you got a high ceiling. This is, you know, eight and a half, nine, I think, for sure. Got vinyl windows. This has been upgraded. However, like, you know, this is just not good enough. This needs to be filled, sanded, just slightly sanded, smooth it up, recock it, and another coat of paint on that. Those will look great, okay? Whole house needs to be painted on the inside, unless you like the current color, you know, scheme. <laughs> you got lots of little nixes, nicks and dings and stuff. So yeah, a good, a good painter in here to dial this up. Forced air. There's an intake as well. It's interesting. Forced air in the bedrooms. Okay, that's good. So natural gas heat. You have two hot water heaters, which is unusual. A big one too. So I think they're thinking four bedrooms. I don't know what's going on here. The, the natural gas pipe here goes out here, goes outside. It's just hanging outside. So I'm not sure, we're gonna have to figure out what, is, what they're doing with the natural gas hook up here. 220. Again, with the, you know, the details on the new trim, you have a, a new door here that's unpainted going into the master bedroom. This is a trap door to get under the house. Really, you don't need that because it, there's a there's a, um, a full a basement here, which is totally weird. You don't see basements in bed, so I'll show you that in a minute. This is pretty rinkety. I mean, this is kind of cheesy, but there it is. Looks like kind of see the wall. It's you know just normal. Like if this was a rental, somebody kind of deemed it up. This hasn't been painted in years. I love the, the tall five inch baseboard. You got your door here. Some windows and high ceiling in the master bedroom. This is pretty good. Out to the back, put a jacuzzi out here would be great. Again, you could put an ADU over here in the corner, have a whole nother rental in the back. Siding looks good, except for one spot over on the uh, garage side, which is just metal. Um, I'll show you that when I go out. Pocket door here seems to be functioning okay. Big bathroom, lots of extra space in here. Could have done a much better uh, shower. You know, like look at all this room. You could have like really put a cool shower in here. Um, looks like some type of, you know, luxury vinyl flooring throughout. And this is like something from Costco. It looks fine. It needs to be painted. Okay. So laundry right there, bedroom here, bedroom. So one, two, three, four bedrooms. You know, let me show you the surprise in this place. So like I said, natural gas stove, but we need to really confirm the natural gas hookup. So big two car garage um, for this neighborhood, especially Okay, you've got stem wall foundation, vinyl windows out here, really dirty, really needs to be cleaned up. 
No insulation in the garage door, which is okay. Not It's not the best, but it's okay. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, check this out. We don't have basements in Bend, like very rare. Not great lighting down here, so I'll do my best. I've walked through all this. I've looked up at all the subfloor. It looks like, so you've got a diagonal subfloor here, okay? But then you, it looks like you have a fur floor. I could see through the cracks. There's probably a hardwood floor, probably clear VG, uh, clear vertical grain floor. It's so nice. So I'm 5'8". I'm walking down here, but it's these. This is newer HVAC. I can walk. I got to duck a little bit, you know. But it's this is good storage. I don't know what you could do with this. I don't. It's not livable. But so it's not living space. But they have a newer HVAC down here. Can't quite see it, but it's right here. And then all this ducting is newer. Okay. Uh, this looks like uh, not original. This is newer as well. Yeah, this is electric. Okay, here's one of the panels right here downstairs. So they put in these concrete block walls, but you have a poured uh, foundation around the edge and then any concrete walls out here, which is underneath the house. Okay, you've got egress on both sides. Uh, I wish there was another light in here. Currently there's not, but yeah, I need to button up some of these holes that go into like where it's not the entire house. This is just part like the kitchen and part of the living room is, has this area. The rest of it is normal crawl space. Show you here. Okay. That's probably like from like the master bedroom kind of all the way straight out. It looks pretty good. It looks, I don't see any red flags. They got the HVACs all in. Looks like, I'm trying to see if they went to, I'm trying to see the foundation wall. I think it's poured over there, but concrete block here, okay? Um, if I had a flashlight, I could really give you a better view, but it's really, all. it's, it's all accessible. And here's some of your main water lines coming in. Your shutoff valves here. Hot and cold. It's nice to be able to get down here to all of it. So really interesting storage area for sure. Again, it's, the place needs to be cleaned up. Let me show you the outside area here um, in the backyard. That, so new, new roof deck. The siding looks good here. Roof and windows trim looks good. Looks like it's been painted except for over here. This side, this is aluminum siding, and some of it's bowing out down here. This is really just snapped together. You could probably pull that off, just pull it off and reside this one thing probably. But this is solid gold. You can do RV parking here or make this parking for your additional dwelling you can put back here, your new ADU. So then you have something back here that would rent for $2,000 a month, really. Um, and the house is renting for definitely over 25. Now that I've seen this, this, this is gonna go pretty well with four bedrooms. Just needs a little bit more love though to get it into really good condition. Okay, people are waiting to see the house so I need to get out of here. Let me know if you have any questions. Place looks pretty good. Needs a little bit of love, probably depending on what you do with this, like air conditioning, a few things, maybe a little bit of change with the kitchen, but not a whole lot. Um, you're gonna probably have $10,000 in a painting and you could put five to six, 7,000 in an air conditioning unit. That makes it really good. Um, and then you have options for an additional dwelling in the backyard. We can dig into that too. Let me know what you think.